Hi, this is Emily. Welcome to It's a Wonderful Wig. I'm going to show you really quickly how you can get massive amounts of thick curly hair. This is my natural biological hair underneath a short wig. I just um, recorded a video on nine different short blonde shades, different blonde shades, different styles of Tony Breton wigs um, moments ago. Oh, and I will link that below. And one of these wigs I will show you is um, was in that video. Okay, so the first thing I do, I don't use wig caps because if you have much hair, it will pull the wig cap back. It happens every time. I've tried everything from the fishnet, the lace net, every cap possible. I don't even bother. You don't even need the wig cap anymore. So what you need is this. This is a ratty little thin rubber band. And you don't want to use the thicker ones. You want the thin ones so you don't create a bulge in the back of your head. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your hair into a low ponytail, not low to your nape, low about here because you want the wig grip band to go down there, okay? And it's all thick. See how thick it is? There's a lot of hair. I want you to take this band, only double loop it, not triple. If you triple loop it, it's going to be tighter and create more of a bulge when you fold it up. So it's loose, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to fold it upward and then to the side. So it's going that way instead of straight up over your head. And this is to eliminate the bulge. And then use your fingers to spread it out right above. Spread it kind of flat against your head right above where the ponytail thing uh, holder is. Hold it here. Wrap your hair, twist it a little, and then kind of just wrap it around like a crown. Twist a little as you go, just loosely. Okay. Hold it flat there. Spread it out with your fingers, kind of flat. You want these flat metal snap clips. I get these at Walmart. Um, get them ones closest to your hair color, which I don't have right now, but this will work. And you slide these in around the edges of, of this hair bulge. You and kind of spread it flat. You can't really put them in the middle, but you can do the edge and outward. Right? You're going to do the edge and outward. Just randomly wherever. It's going to be a little loose here. That's okay. One on the top and the edge and outward. There you go. You need about five or so sloppy i mean mine's really pretty sloppy i don't use bobby pins because they generally don't hold as well and they start poking up out of your wig okay so you have that in place it's good enough it's pretty flat you need your velvet wig grip um this is dream lovers one of my favorites get them on amazon um generally you might want to use the color of whatever your root is most of these wigs have brown roots this wig I'm going to put on right now doesn't have brown roots, so I should have had my lighter one, but I don't have it at the moment. But put it on with the thicker part of the band toward the back, so it's abrasive when you run your finger over it, so the wig doesn't slide back, right? So put it here to smooth any hairs back. Just past your hairline. Flatten it. Use your pinky to tuck the hair behind your ear. Slide the wig right behind your ear. Velcro it right at the bottom of your hairline underneath. If you can see that, it's going to puff up a little here. That's totally fine. Now you're going to take one clip, push it in toward your face to hold the wig grip in place. Make sure it's attached to your hair. Just to make sure the wig grip doesn't slide if you're putting wigs on and off or whatever. This is a super easy, like literally one to two minute job. You might, well, do I have any more? No, I don't. Okay. Sometimes you might want to do another one here. You want most of this bare so that it can grip to the wig. But for the most part, that's really all you have to do. The wig will hold the rest of this down. So I'm going to put on a short Tony Bratton wig. This is Platinum Blonde. It's called Enchanting. Okay. It's a short, basic cap, open wig. And we're just going to put it right on. Put this a little lower than your hairline and then stretch. It still has the tag on, this is brand new. Turn it so the ear tabs line up on your temples. Now in the back, I want you to lift the wig. 
Make sure the tag's pushed under. All the make sure all the hair. There's no hair under your wig, and pull it down under the wig grip band. Then push. Okay. Push this up to your hairline. Push it up to your hairline. Ear tabs are right about yonder. Now this one is not rooted, so since I have dark hair here, um, I would generally put a little L'Oreal blonde light blonde root concealer spray here and it would turn this kind of blonde so it works a little better you don't have to especially if you have hair there but if you have a rooted wig it doesn't matter because it'll just look like your normal hair but one thing you can do if you feel back here if you still feel any kind of you might feel a little bit of a bold a little lump where the hair tie part is right here and what you could do is you stick your finger in through the wefts and spread it out, spread out the hair right at the bulge where the hair tie was on each side of the hair tie. Just kind of flatten it, loosen it once it's on. Now loosen it, kind of massage it like you're massaging a lump out of someone's bad back. Just flatten the hair a little more. And this thing, woo, it's not going anywhere. This thing is not coming off. This wig grip is holding this sucker in place. What I like to do, especially if I'm going out, doing errands, going to a doctor, going to physical therapy, take a bobby pin, the only time I would use it, separate the hair to get into like the weft somewhere on the side or top, until you use your finger to feel a weft, stick the bobby pin in through your hair and through one of the wefts, so you're attaching the weft to your hair and then kind of cover it back up. And I do that on each side, you can do one in the back if you want, I'm telling you, if you're in the pool, if you're on a boat and a wind gust goes by, this thing is not moving. So that's how you get long, thick, curly hair under a short wig without a wig cap. And actually, this is cute. This is vivacious. And I don't think, no, I'm not looking, you know, normally I check the mirror, make sure none of my other hair is sticking out. I don't think it is, but I can't see right here. But if, if you feel anything coming out, just push it up. If you got your hair up, I forgot to tell you, smooth your hair upward when you're gathering it in the ponytail. Run your hand to make sure you got all the loose hairs to make sure you get it up there. And if you fluff your wig back here, give it some body. If there's any little bit of a lump from the hair, it's going to be covered. So that is how you get a really short wig under thick, massive, unruly, ugly hair. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Check out my Tony Bratton and my nine vintage retro hairstyles fun video. I will link below. Thanks everybody for watching.